morning. We need to find the image of the infinite strip y greater than equal to 1 by 4 and less than equal to 1 by 2 under the transformation w equal to 1 by z and we have to show the regions graphically. So the given transformation is w equal to 1 by z and this is the given strip that is y is greater than equal to 1 by 4 and less than equal to 1 by 2. So w equal to 1 by z can be written as z equal to 1 over w and now putting the value of z as x plus iota y is equal to 1 over u plus iota v and then after rationalizing we get this to be equal to u minus iota v over u square plus v square. So when you compare the real parts and the imaginary parts you get x to be equal to u over u square plus v square and y is equal to negative v over u square plus v square. Now if suppose that because it is given to us that y is greater than equal to 1 by 4, let's say if y is equal to 1 over 4, then putting the value of this y over here we get negative v over u square plus v square is equal to 1 over 4 and when you simplify this we get this as u square plus v square plus 4v is equal to 0. Now to make a perfect square for v we have to add because I'm having 4v that can be seen as twice 2v. So we have to add and subtract 2 square. So adding 2 square and subtracting 2 square we get u square plus this is the perfect square of v that is v plus 2 whole square and taking this negative 4 to the other side we get this equation. Right? Second, if y is equal to 1 over 2 then Putting the value of y again over here, we get negative v over u square plus v square is equal to 1 over 2. And after simplifying, we get u square plus v square plus 2v is equal to 0. And to make the perfect square for v, we have to because this 2v can be seen as twice 1 into v. So we have to add 1 square and subtract 1 square to get the perfect square for v. So I'm adding 1 square and subtracting 1 square. This is equal to 0. This will give me u square plus. Now this is the perfect square for v. That is v plus 1 whole square. And taking this negative 1 square to the other side to get 1. Right? Now to plot these. For the z-plane, I'm having y equal to 1 by 4 first. So if this is 1 unit, this is half unit, then this is 1 by 4, right? This is 1 unit, this is half, and this is 1 over 4. So this is y is equal to 1 over 4, the straight line. And for 1 over 4, I'm getting the image in w-plane as... I'm having u square plus v plus 2 whole square is equal to 4, which is the circle with center. What is the center over here? It is having the center 0, negative 2, and the radius is 2 because this is taken to be as 2 square. So center 0, negative 2, and the radius 2. So this is the origin 0. This is 1 unit, and this is 2 unit. This is negative 1. This is negative 2. So the center is 0, negative 2. That is, this is the center with the radius 2, right? Okay. Now for y is equal to 1 over 2, I'm having this line. For y is equal to 1 over 2, right? This is a straight line. And this line is mapped to, again, I'm having this circle in the w plane. That is, u square plus v plus 1 whole square is equal to 1. So to plot this, um, this is the circle with the center 0 and negative 1. So this is 0 negative on this point. Right? So, and the radius is 1. 
So this is the circle this. Right. So which means the region between the lines y is equal to 1 by 2 and y is equal to 1 by 4 is mapped to the region between these two circles that is this region. Hence the infinite strip y greater than equal to 1 by 4 less than equal to 1 by 2 is transformed into the region between these two circles. Right. So this is the required regions. Thank you.